Greetings, Saber fans. What we've got here is a uh, Ultra Sabers Aeon V4 with gold uh, powder coating on the recesses. This Saber was a stunt Saber and I've added several customizations to the Saber. Number one, I did this custom shroud which is crazy. It's all hand cut. It's awesome. It looks kind of homemade. It is homemade. That's how I wanted it to look. It came out pretty awesome. That This is actually a metal shroud. I know it looks like leather, but it's not. It's actually metal. And um, it is painted black. I added black leather wrap on the handle. Um, this, this recess right here seems to be a natural place to hold the saber, which is kind of cool because it makes the, the thumbs accessible. In addition, I've also added a TCSS vented pommel that seemed to match the rest of the saber. And also on this saber, I've added a uh, Arkham razor blade plug, which this is backlit with uh, NeoPixels, which I'll show all that here in a bit. There was a lot of talk about, um, you know, I wanted to do my first CFX install, and I wanted to be in something simple so that I could get the basics of CFX down. Uh, I decided to make this the simple saber. I had this control box from the custom saber shop lying around and you know I had some illuminated switches that I wanted to get rid of. I'm not real big on illuminated switches anymore but some people are so this saber's got two of them which is pretty cool. They're both red. So this is a very simple saber and this saber is installed with CFX. Greetings saber fans. What I have here is a Ultra Sabers Aeon uh, version 4. This Saber was a uh, originally just the hilt and I've added the TCSS pommel, a custom cut shroud with meg teeth and fangs, uh, TCSS control box 1 with two illuminated 12 millimeter switches and of course this Saber is equipped with the brand new CFX and the cool part about this which I'll show uh, in the instructions part of the video is I've added SMD LEDs onto the CFX. I've also modified the settings in CFX to make it as much like Proffy as I could get it. So let's boot the Saber. This is the first font, which is Nightfall. Black box. Lock up. Tip drag. Tip drag. And the cool part about uh, the CFX is it does color changing on spectrum. So I'm going to put it in spectrum mode. Once you get it in Spectrum, you can also go to an effect scrolling. And I've programmed eight or nine blade profiles in here that I found on the internet. There's like an unstable fire. There's a rapid pulse. So I've got it locked in on red. Next one. Sound effect selection. Nightfall. Gonna kill that main light so you guys can see it. This is gonna be the crystal focus sound font. Select that. Lock up. Tip drag. Blast of blocks. The next font is cool. Sound effect selection. Crystal. This is Kyber. This is Kyber Phonics of New Hope Training. And it's really cool. The 
background, there's a background track on this one, so if you double tap the power button, the background tap is the background sounds of Millennium Falcon and the little training drum. So then you ignite the saber. And the four sounds. Yeah, I've flown from one side of this galaxy to the other. I've seen a lot of strange stuff, but I've never seen anything that I can believe is one all powerful force controlling everything. Yeah, I've flown from one side of this galaxy to the other. I've seen a lot of strange stuff, but I've never seen anything that I can believe is one all powerful force controlling everything. Lock up. Tip drag. I call it block. Tip drag. Those are your blasters. Retractions. Sound effect selection. Gray meat. Gray meat, which is a standard swinging font. Four sounds. Lock up. Blaster blocks. Of course, this has tip drag as well. Next font. Sound effect selection. Grammy. Paul. Window font, purple blade. Of course, you can change the color of these blades and it saves, saves your presets. Lock up, tip drag, retraction. Next font. Sound effect selection. Camino. And I've actually put a rain blade on this, so it's got a rain blade, sparkle blade on it. Lock up. Tip drag. Blocks. 
or sound. Sound bank selection. Showtime. by force uh, the negotiator and I put background track on this this is Obiani duel for watching this was a cool little project it was uh, my first CFX install it was easy peasy Japanesey the Sabre has mostly the the stock fonts on it you can upgrade it with uh, whatever fonts you want in those stock font slots and you can add additional banks as well but this is a really cool Sabre custom build leather wrap you know you've got your custom shroud you got the control box with the illuminated switches and the SMD resistors on the board. Really cool saver, and I think the price point I have on it, which would be listed down in the doobly-doo on the video, is reasonable, all things considered. Uh, it's the price of all the components plus my labor on the install. So thank you everybody for watching, and stick tight for the instructional video. Now, before we get into the operation of the saver, I figure I will go ahead and crack the pommel, and this is how you change the battery for whoever ends up buying the saver. You remove the pommel, set it to the side, shake the saver into your hand. Don't let it just fall out. You want to shake the chassis out into your hand. And then once you have the chassis, this T8 shroud that I have over the chassis protects the soundboard and the battery from grounding out inside the hilt. There's your battery. You want to replace the battery. You simply pop it out and when you're ready to go again you just pop it back in now the saber is going to come out of deep sleep because it was in deep sleep but when i reinsert this battery it's going to boot now the bonus on this saber is i've added these uh, smd leds onto the onto the soundboard and they do different things uh you i'm going to scroll through the sound fonts So they do different sequences. You can see that they scroll to different LEDs when you're changing fonts. 
but it also has a an idle sequence that it runs through and when you ignite the saber i have a bad feeling about this let the negotiations begin when you ignite the saber it goes i'm sorry getting false clashes there you can see it going back and forth it does like a cylon type thing when you go into lockup blaster blocks lock up again and retraction and then this is it, the last time Cody takes a day off and then it'll go back into its idle sequence so those SMD LEDs are pretty cool uh, that was just a funsies edition I did I didn't even I didn't you know even in charge anything for that when I was figuring out the price for this saber so that's just a cool addition on this saber and also this is programmed to go into deep sleep after I think it's uh, three minutes of idle time but at any rate once you change the battery you know you can reach in the hilt and grab this clear piece of shroud and you put that clear piece of shroud back over the soundboard and battery and it goes all the way back to the very back and then you just slide your chassis back home don't push on the speaker only push on the outside the plastic plastic then you get the pommel to thread and the pommel if I can get <laughs> I'm like can't even get threads to line up tonight because I'm like it's the end of the night I've had a bunch of caffeine but there are the the pommels threaded and you know you you can shake this and there's nothing there's nothing loose rattling around in there so the chassis is pretty tight that's an MHS V6 chassis which works well in Ultra Sabers Sabers I'm gonna get back to the first Sound one bank selection. this is General Kenobi audio player nightfall okay basically most of the fonts on here are just uh, are just uh, stock fonts uh, there are there is one additional new font on here because the saber was glitching with one of the fonts so I subbed that out with the New Hope training I think it was like the third font whatever the third font is on the um, on the CFX was glitchy but um, at any rate I wanted to demonstrate how the saber functions so there's two buttons and how I wired these is this is the main button and this is the auxiliary button that's just how I wire my sabers the forward buttons always main the back buttons auxiliary and to ignite the saber you merely press the main button once you're in a font you can see the backlit neopixel there which is pretty awesome of course that blade looks pink so let's change that so let's talk about color changing to go into color changing mode you simply uh, to you press power and aux at the same time Spectrum. and then you twist the saber until it gets to the color that you want once it gets to the color you want you lock it in by hold, by pressing aux and now that looks more red that's more like it swinging the saber you got swing sounds clashes simply clash in the saber lock up is press and hold auxiliary you can see there's your lock up to get a blaster block briefly press aux and those display on your blade to get a force sound you press and hold auxiliary and swing the saber to get tip drag you have to point it down and then initiate a show it on here but you basically point it down and then initiate a clash while the sabers pointed down and that gives you tip drag now in addition to the color change this also has effects change so how you get to effects change is you go into the color changing into the spectrum mode by pressing power and auxiliary spectrum. and then I want to keep that blade locked in so I'm gonna press and hold auxiliary 
and it goes into blade profiles and then I can spin the hill and I will get different blade profiles that I've tuned in and it's easier to do this when you have let's go to that pulse so you can scroll through the blade profiles as well and whichever one you lock it in the CFX will remember that so that's that. To turn the saber off, you press and hold power, and the ignition goes away. So then to proceed to your next font, press and hold auxiliary until you hear sound of bank selection. Sound bank selection. Crystal focus. That's the next font. That's a New Hope training, and I'm going to press and hold the auxiliary to select it. Grammy. Oops. You can also go back by pressing power. So now we're in the New Hope font. Now the cool part about the New Hope font, A New Hope Training by Jesse, a background track. The background track on this is the background sounds on the Millennium Falcon. And to activate that background track, you double press power. So now the background track is playing, which is the background noise from the Millennium Falcon and the drone. And then you can ignite the saber. saber functions. To stop the background tracker music you double tap the power button just like that. Now I want to advance to the next Sound one. Bank selection. Kenobi. Surely we can be civilized about this. So once you get to the font you want, you long press on aux until you know your menu sound goes away, and that's how you know you're in your font. So on this, this is um, of course this is fonts by force, and this is the negotiator, which is a standard font on Plector Labs. It's smooth swing with accents, it's awesome. To I put a background track on this, which is Obiani Duel, double tap power to get the soundtrack. Once the soundtrack is playing, we can initiate the saber. Lovely. More smiling faces. Let the negotiation begin. having trouble getting the double tap there to turn the music off. But of course you can activate the saber with the music off it. as well. So that's pretty cool. The last font Sound bank selection. This is General Kenobi. Audio player. Is the audio player. And the audio player is, you know, you can play tracks just like you can there. It's random. And then I'm going to click back to the first spot. Focus. Nightfall. 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 And now I want to show y'all how to insert a blade. Okay, so to insert a blade, we take our saber and we take the 564 Allen key. And on the underside of the emitter is uh, this 564 Allen screw. And you're going to loosen that Allen screw and then you want to slide out your blade plug. So this is the blade plug. So you can see the, the blade depth on this is, is pretty substantial. It's about two and a quarter inches, two and a half inches of blade depth. So that's pretty substantial. You know, I've seen some graphlexes with just an inch of blade depth. So here you have two and a quarter inches. Uh, this is the total length of your blade depth. It is a Arkham uh, razor blade plug. And this one is by Dark Side Engineering by Kaz. Uh, you know, I've got a bunch of these going with Kaz. This is an awesome blade plug and it's backlit with NeoPixels. 
and you just slide it in and you can still play with your saber even if you don't have a blade. So, and we're going to slide in this blade. Now, the blade has a target on the end of it, and what you're wanting is to put the blade in the saber until it reaches the spring pins. Now, there's a slight, you got to push it in that little last bit of the way to make sure it's compressing the, the spring pins, and then you want to try and do this in the camera as in the way. You hold tension in on the blade while you tighten the blade retention like so and then you remove your allen key and bada bing we have a blade installed so now I'm going to ignite this saber so you can see her light up and you know I want to show the, the, the spectrum again spectrum. so you know you can change colors just by rotating the saber and once you get to a color you want like I like that red, I'm going to hit the auxiliary button to select it. And then it'll lock in on that red blade. But I can also go to Spectrum. Spectrum. And I want to keep that red blade, but I want to hold blade it to, to go into Blade Profiles. And then you can rotate the saber. And every so many degrees it gives you a different blade profile. And I've programmed 8 in. There's kind of like a weird unstable. There's a pulse. There's a slower pulse flicker, a faster pulse flicker, it's different unstable, there's a rain blade, there's some crazy kind of blade, I don't even know what that is, and that's like a, just a normal flicker, that's a faster flicker with a pulse, that's a slow pulse and flicker, I'm going to lock that in. And that's it. Retraction. When you're done with, you know, when you're done playing with your saber, and turn the light back on so you guys can see what I'm doing. When you're done playing with your saber and you're ready to put the blade plug back in, you just simply reinsert your 564 Allen key, loosen the blade retention, slide out your NeoPixel blade. And then you slide your blade plug into the hilt and tighten her up. And then I'll test fire the blade plug to make sure she's still working. And she is. Should be able to see it there, hopefully. Which you can also see the shine through in these in these ports here. So that's it for the, the video. Uh, whoever purchased this saber is going to need to buy a standalone charger for an 18650 battery. And you can also buy uh, additional 18650 batteries. I highly suggest getting a battery with a 15 amp cutoff. And if you don't, it's not going to work. Do not buy um, e-cigarette 18650 knockoffs. I highly suggest using Keep Power batteries. The Saber is going to come with the battery that I suggest, which is the Keep Power 18650, 3000 milliamp hours of 15 amp continuous discharge uh, protected circuit. So that's the battery that it's going to come with. It will ship fully charged and ready to roll. This Saber does not include a NeoPixel blade. And right now, the NeoPixels that I order are hard to get hold of because currently the coronavirus outbreak is going on and none of the shipping companies are going to or from China. And most of these NeoPixel strips are coming from China. So I'm not selling a blade with this saber, but you can still source NeoPixel blades out there from Corbanth, from Vader's Vault. There's a plethora of resources to buy NeoPixel blades. They're for sale all the time on the internet. And the price point for this saber that comes with the blade plug, with the leather wrap, with the custom shroud, with the TCSS switch box, two eliminated switches, the CFX program with the additional New Hope training font, the leather wrap on the hilt, and all the SMD LEDs that are on the CFX that are cool. You'll be the first kid on the block with one of those. 
because I guarantee I'm one of the first to wear them like that. Um, but, you know, there you go. This is CFX powered uh, Ultra Sabers. So, you guys want to buy an Ultra Sabers, I highly suggest you get this one instead. Uh, I guarantee my install is better than anything you can get from Ultra Sabers, and this baby is NeoPixel CFX. Thank you all for watching. May the force be with you, or the dark side as it were.